Shalom, 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 Shalom. Before we even get started, first and foremost, I want to start by giving all praises and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakakadash. Secondly, want to give double honors to the elders, apostles, the great millstone who rule well. And third, want to give salutations to all the occupants of the hopeful elect that pushing forth this word and this truth and righteousness and sincerity throughout the four corners. Shalom, shalom, shalom. I'm Brother Haka from GMS South Carolina Midlands. And I'm back with another listen. All right. Not a long listen, but uh, I had a brother, you know what I'm saying? Put this. Um, I don't think a brother put this up. But anyway, I was going down my, um, you know, what I'm saying? down my feed. You know what I'm saying? I was up on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? I was on my, um, you know, what I'm saying I was on my feed, you know, to so check my feed or whatever. And I seen, you know, what I'm saying I seen this little uh, post right here, as y'all can see. All right. You know, what I'm saying from uh, the Sky News. And, you know, what I'm saying y'all can see what is read. It says thousands march in Jerusalem pride parade in joint struggle. All right. For the alphabet rights and democracy. Right now, all of this is happening, you know, in the land of Israel. All right. You know, what I'm saying, you know, where the true children of Israel are scattered throughout the four corners. And, you know, and like scripture said, you're going to have a bastard from, you know, what I'm saying <laughs> that going to be the bastard that, 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 that's going to dwell in Ashdod, man, which you damn fucking small hats, man. At the end of the day. All right. You you 48 ers. All right. You know what I'm saying? The ish, the ish people <laughs> like my brother, uh, you know, pre sign why be saying the ish people, you know, and, and, and y'all see what's going on in the Holy Land of Israel, which right now, you know, what I'm saying, you know, you got, you know, imposters. OK, that's up in the land today, you know, because of the true children of Israel, once they return back by the power, by the power, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh when Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah placed children of Israel back in the land of Israel, starting with the elect of the nation of Israel. All right. Starting with the one third and that's starting with one hundred and forty four thousand on down to the rest of the one third, a rest to the multitude. You know what I'm saying? You got one hundred and forty four thousand. All right, you know, with your elect men of the nation of Israel, the body government of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. All right, you know what I'm saying? And you have the multitude. All right, you know. And when they're placed back in the land of Israel, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Israel gonna dwell righteousness, man. Ain't gonna be no damn wicked ass Israelites, man. All right, you know? That's when a new covenant will be fulfilled. And like the scripture said, all gonna know, all of Israel, all of Israel gonna know Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah from the greatest to the least, man. All right. To the greatest, to the least of Israel, all Israel gonna know Yahweh Bashem Yahushua. Righteousness is gonna go throughout all of Israel. At the end of the day, ain't gonna be no wickedness, man. Ain't gonna be those type of pride parades. At the end of the day, ain't gonna be no goddamn pride. Period, man. All right, you know, the most I gonna destroy that, destroy these, you know who? You gonna destroy the land of Israel? Babylon's not Babylon, aka America, ain't the only land Yahweh Bashem Yahushua gonna nuke and, and, and gonna destroy, man. All right, the only difference is. You know, Israel, all right, the land of Israel going to be built back up by you goddamn heathens, man. All right, you know, okay, starting with you damn Edomites on down, man, to rescue, to rescue 17 heathen nations, man. All right, going to build back the land of Israel, okay? All right, you know, through the power of Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, but, you know, back to the point, look, look at this goddamn wickedness, but yet they say they the damn people, man, and you fools believe that they the damn people, even though the scripture said otherwise, man. All right, let me get... Let me get real quick. And like I said, this ain't going to be no long listen, man. All right. You know, get straight to the point, man, because they don't take too many scriptures to cut this madness right here that's going on. Showing you, you know what I'm saying? You ain't the daggone people, man. You know, and you don't think we mad. You don't think we got them angry. And you see why this place got to be destroyed. You see why Israel, you know what I'm saying? Most of going to nuke Israel. Look, look at all of that. Fucking foul, you know what, going over in that land, man. All those wicked abominations that's taking place, man, by these damn heathens, man. All right, you don't think Yahweh like Yahweh Shemal Shah said, man, he angry with the wicked every day, man. All right, and you don't think he angry, man? Cause this is the this the they so called month right here, the pride month right here, okay? All right, but let's get um let's get Isaiah, let's get Isaiah twenty six. All right, and ten, man. Let's get Isaiah twenty six and ten, man. All right, and that's red. Let favor be shown to the wicked. All right, which is Esau, Edom. All right, you can you know check out Malachi one and four. All right, we we know that Edom. All right, you know what I'm saying. You know is known. All right, he ain't known, but he is. You know what I'm saying the wicked man. All right, he's the board of wickedness at the end of the day, and you can you can read that for yourself. Malachi one and four, man. All right, but it says yet will he not learn righteousness in a land of 
uprightness will he deal unjustly and will not behold the majesty of the Lord. Yeah, how about you, Yahweh Shah? Yeah, man. Yeah, how about you, Shah is not in the thoughts of no fucking Esau at the end of the day. He the devil, man. He's the wicked. That's how Yahweh Shah Shah designed him, man. All right, you know? Every damn thing about this damn devil is contrary to the scriptures, man. All right, you know? That's why he have a book like the Talmud and you have all types of wicked abomination, man. You know, the Bible, you know what I'm saying? You know, when you read Leviticus 20 and 13, Yahweh yeah, Shemal Shah is against that, that pride, man. You know, like I said, I got to choose my words. The alphabet pride, bro. He's against that, man. Okay, all right. And, and we go into the law. And if, you know what I'm saying, back in the um, ancient world, man, all right, you know, hey, man, if two men or two women got caught in, in an act like that, man, you know what I'm saying, this is law right here. This is what, this is supposed to be, this is what's supposed to happen to him, you know what I'm saying, within the law, man, all right, you know, Yahweh yeah, Shemal was shot. It's Leviticus 20 and 13. If a man also lie with mankind as he lieth with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. So you how about your mouth shot didn't play with that wicked ass defile act, that wicked abomination, man. Most I didn't play with that. And he, he didn't play with that then. He don't damn sure don't play with that now, man. All right. You think you how about your mouth shot destroy Sodom and Gomorrah, man? Okay. All right. Because he had nothing else better to do, man. Because it was full of freaking wickedness, man. Abomination, man. All right. You know, all types of foul acts that that, that 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 they was involved in and tell you uh, a lot was vexed as hell man just like we are the men of the law like we vexed today what we got to see man all right you know that vexed the hell out of us man here we here we are you got these little fucking bastards man paren but portraying to be us man all right the children of, the ish people portraying to be us which they're not man okay all right you're not a true children of israel at the end of the day or whatnot man all right you know uh, um, just just by your deeds and your works, man. Show that, okay. But let me get let me get Revelation three and nine, man. All right, you know, and two and nine say pretty much say the same thing. But we we'll get Revelation three and nine real quick. It says, "Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan." This red letter, Yahweh Shah. So let me, let me start it back up at verse nine. It says, "Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan." And synagogue just mean chief. You know what I'm saying? You know, principal, chief principal. All right, you know, and Esau, you know what I'm saying? He's the uh, head tribe, you know what I'm saying? Esau, I mean, down Esau. Amalek is the head tribe of, of Edom, man. All right, Amalek, the, 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 the ish, the small hats, man. They're the head tribe, man. And they, they're the one over there in the land today pretending, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know, getting their imposter on, man. Getting their culture vulture on as usual, man. All right, that's what these devils do. That's what they designed to do at the end of the day. All right, now, you know, when he's, you know, when you, and, and it's twofold, Revelation 2 and 9, and, you know, I mean, we're, we're Revelation 2 and 9, pretty much say the same thing, you know what I'm saying, you know, but Revelation 2 and 9, you know what I'm saying, matter of fact, let me start Revelation 2 and 9 first, then I'll get back to Revelation 3 and 9, man. All right, let me read it in order. All right, and make my point. Revelation 2 and 9, it says, I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. But thou art rich, man. Yeah. You're talking about the true children of Israel, man. You know what I'm saying? It says, I know thy works and tribulation and poverty. Yeah, so the true children of Israel are gonna be in poverty, man. You small hats, y'all own every goddamn thing. So that's a goddamn cut too. You know what I'm saying? By saying y'all God chosen people. Also, in prophecy, it says that Israel are gonna be scattered throughout the four corners, man. And you know what I'm saying? So so, so how you damn devils <laughs> up there in the land of Israel, bro? All right. Y'all supposed to be scattered throughout the four corners, man. All right. You in slavery, you in captivity. You supposed to be the tail, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? The heathen supposed to be the head. If you, you know what I'm saying? The true Jews at the end of the day, you true, you, you true children of Israel as you proclaim. You know what I'm saying? Why you don't fit any of the prophecy? Where is King David? Right. Huh? 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 Where is Yahweh shot? Huh? 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 Man, yeah, yeah. Esau, you got some explaining to do. But nonetheless, it says, I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, man. You know what I'm saying? But thou art rich. Why we are rich? Because, you know what I'm saying? You know, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. You know what I'm saying? You know, starting with the elect. Man, we got this truth, man. All right? You know what I'm saying? You know? Hey, salvation is only for Israel. All right? You know? The promises, the covenant, you know what I'm saying, was only made for Israel at the end of the day, man. All right? You know? So, you know what I'm saying? But it said, like it says, it says but thou art rich, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? Because a matter of fact, let me just get this here, man. Let me just read Romans. You know, so when it goes into the promises, man, the benefits of being a Hebrew Israelite, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? Even though we in slavery and captivity, you know what I'm saying? We catching that hell. The most I cutting our ass right now and righteously so, you know, due to the curses, you know what I'm saying? That's upon us. You know what I'm saying? You know, but we come in the time where you how about your mouth was shy. 
you know what I'm saying, gonna take those cur gonna, gonna, gonna take those curses off of us, and he gonna place them on the daggone heathens, man, on our enemies, man, all right, you know, starting with you damn Edomites, man, okay, but going back to the benefit, man, all right, because you know, we just read Revelation 2 and 9, it says we, 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 you know what I'm saying, even though, you know, we in poverty, you know what I'm saying, but at the end of the day, it says, but we are rich, all right, and, and, and what makes us rich, okay, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, Romans 9 and 4, Matter of fact, I'm starting verse three. All right. But the point in verse four, it says, for I could wish that myself were a curse from Mashiach for my brethren, my kinsmen, according to the flesh, who are Israelites. So Paul telling you who his kinsmen are, who his people are, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? You know who are Israelites. OK. All right. Not no damn body else, man. So that's who uh, Paul, you know, what I'm saying Apostle Paul was speaking to, man. You know, the Gentiles that Paul was teaching was Israelite foreigners for them dummies out there. Try to, you know, what I'm saying make a try to try to find a loophole for these heathens, which you ain't going to find no damn loophole, man. All right. At the end of the day, y'all by your shy word is what the word is, even though you niggas don't understand it because they ain't given to you. You know what I'm saying? You know, but going back and finishing up Romans nine and four, who are. Who are Israelites? All right, and here's the benefit, man. All right, this, this these are rich. These are true riches right here. To whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants and the giving of the law and the service of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah and the promises, man. You know what I'm saying? You know. So, man, it's, it's point blank, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? So we 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 are rich because the kingdom is gonna be for Israel, man. All right, Israel, we're gonna have an everlasting kingdom at the end of the day or whatnot, man. All right. You know, so, you know, what I'm saying, like I say, Israel ain't going to go. We, you know, what I'm saying we ain't going to slavery. We ain't going to captivity anymore. This is our last captivity up on the Esau. And we're going to be ruling, man. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be heirs with our big bro. Yahweh was shot, man. I got pretty much that number of that, uh, that 144,000, man. You know, but we're going to be heirs with our with our big bro. Yahweh was shot, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? H having the best of everything. You know what I'm saying? Having, you know what I'm saying? That you like, Yahweh Shah, always shot. Like, Yahweh Shah, always shot. I said, man, my father had many mansions, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? So we can't even fully, you know, what I'm saying, imagine what all you how about your mouth shall have in store for us, man. You're going to have brothers having their they own planet or whatnot, man. <laughs> Planets. Let me say that plural, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's it, it going to be above all of our imagination, man, how the kingdom is going to be, man. That's how far the kingdom is going to be, man. All right. Israel, man. All right. So, 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 hey, man. You know what I'm saying? We are rich, all right? With this knowledge and this truth and this understanding and Yahweh my shot open up and our eye, open up our eyes, man. All right, you know? So we, we, we you know, we gotta Israel has a very, very bright future. <laughs> Heathen nations, y'all future dim than a motherfucker, man. Especially Esau. But Isaiah 45 and 17. It says, But Israel shall be saved in the Lord, Yahweh was shot, with an everlasting salvation, man. All right. See? It says everlast. So so we ain't going off no more, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be ruling forever, man. Forever, ever. Yeah, forever, ever. Ye shall not be ashamed, nor confounded world without end. What are we going to be ashamed for? All right. You, we're going to be righteous, man. All right. We're going to be one with Yahweh Bashim Shah. We're not going to go off anymore. We're not going to sin against Yahweh Bashim Shah anymore, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? You know, we're going to be that perfection of beauty, man. All right. Because we're going to be moving according to the ordinance of Yahweh Bashim Shah. We're going to be, you know what I'm saying, in harmony with Yahweh Bashim Shah, man. All right. And we're going to have, like I said, we're going to rule every damn thing, man. With our big bro, Yahweh Shah. We're going to be heirs with our big bro, Yahweh Shah, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? You know? So we're going to have everything through the power of Yahweh Bashim Shah, man. Okay. All right. So, you know, we ain't going to be at the damn bottom, goddamn it, forever. Okay. All right. We ain't going to be vexed forever, man. We got to see this see, see this goddamn madness right here. These damn bastards up in, in, in Atlanta, Israel, man. All right. And like I say, you see the wickedness. You damn devils got them, you know, the one of many wickedness that goes on and take place up there in the land of Israel, man, with no small hats up in there, man. All right. But let me get. But but see, you know, with them loving that alphabet, man, you know what I'm saying? You know, the alphabet people, they, they got pride up in that. Right. You know, but it's, the spirit tell you, man, all of them like that, man. All of them got that spirit of Sodom in them, man. All them Edomites, all them Edomites, man. Got that, you know, covering that vine of Sodom, man. All right. And, and if you got Edomites that, that it does not. Uh, physically participating in that Guess what It's a doormat It's a doormat It's a doormat Fucking Alphabet spirit in all of them Okay Alright You know what I mean Ain't been activated yet Okay But anyway This right here Deuteronomy 32 and 32 We get straight to the scriptures man You know Ain't nobody freestyling man Okay Alright The scriptures speak Deuteronomy 32 and 32 For their vine Is the vine of Sodom See Their vine man Alright You know what I'm saying the, You know the roots man 
All right. You know what I'm saying? This is the devil's DNA, man. All right. That's why you think why you think they push that 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 alf the alphabet agenda to, to your children, man. They try to push it out to the whole world. All right. You know what I'm saying? But they try to play. But really, they try to push it to the kids because, you know, if you're adults, mine's already made up, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? And you can't persuade adult. To, you know what I'm saying? To turn adult out or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Either they either either they that or they not at the end of the day. But children are impressionable, man. Children are impressionable. So that's why they like to play and they like to, they like to get the, the kids, man, because the children are the future at the end of the day. All right. You know what I'm saying? The children are the future, man. That's why they want to target. You know what I'm saying? The children, man. That's why you have up there. Um, I believe uh, was that uh, what state? What state that was? But I want to say somewhere in damn California, man. I want to say somewhere in California, you know, a little small town in California where you had some dog on Edomites, man. You know what I'm saying? They was fighting against the alphabet people because, you know, what I'm saying they want to. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Have that alphabet education. You know what I'm saying? So-called. It ain't no fucking education. But they wanted to push the alphabet agenda in the elementary school. And them Edomite parents, they wasn't having that shit, man. All right? You know? They fought against, you know what I'm saying? The uh, Edomites fighting against Edomites, man. So that's how you know Esau. That's how you know it's rap for Esau. Because the kingdom divided. Gonna fall at the end of the damn day. But nonetheless, why was Esau fighting against his other wicked-ass brother? Because... You know what I'm saying? They were trying to push, you know what I'm saying, the L LGBT um, agenda, man. Okay? But but finishing up, Deuteronomy 32 and 32. For their vine is the vine, for their vine is of the vine of Sodom and of the fields of Gomorrah. Right? And we know what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah. They were destroyed. Why? Because of, you know what I'm saying, these, Ill, the alphabet type of acts that you see today, man. Okay? All right? That's what was going on. A bunch of, bunch of goddamn defiled, wicked Disgusting abominations, man, that were taking place, man. All right, you know, that's why the most I destroyed, man. All right, with fire, and he gonna do Babylon, aka America, way worse, man. All right, it says their grapes are grapes of of gall. Their clusters are bitter, man. Okay, all right. It says their um their wine is the poison of dragons. You know what I'm saying? They wine their philosophies, man, and the cruel venom of asp, man. All right, you know. And it says, is not this laid up in store with me and sealed up among my treasures? All right. Question mark. Verse 35. All right. And the point to me belongeth vengeance, man. This is Yahweh Shema was shot, man. Vengeance is the Lord, like Scripture said, man. Yahweh Shema was shot. And recompense and recompense, man. Payback, man. All right. Going to pay all you heathens back, man. First of all, Yahweh Shema was shot. Going to start with the house of Israel, man. All right. You two third wicked niggas out there. You know, you sellouts, man. All right. You proud. You spies out there, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? You false prophets out there, man. All right. That's what y'all about your mouth. I'm going to start back with first Peter 4 and 17, man. He going he, he to be on you damn Jake heads before he get on Esau punk ass, man. OK. And you other heathen nations, man. All right. But uh, finishing up, Deuteronomy 32 and 35. To me belong of vengeance and recompense. Their foot shall slide in due time for the day of their calamity is at hand. And the thing that shall come upon them. Make haste, man. So y'all about your mouth shot got, got, got um you heathens, man. You know what I'm saying? He, he got you damn heathens in the trick bag at the end of the day, man. All right. Most I gonna give you devils that goddamn work, man. All right, you know? Okay, you're gonna get your just due, man. All these damn curses gonna come back on your ass, man. Uh, uh pursuing back to Deuteronomy 30 and 7. And the Lord, you how about your mouth shot, thy God, all right, thy power will put all these curses upon thy enemies and on them that hate thee. With persecuted D, man. So so all these curses gonna go upon the enemies of Israel, man. All right. Starting with you got them Edomites, man. All right. And the rest of you got them heathen nations, man. You can find that. Who the enemies uh, of Israel, all right. You can find that in um Psalms the 83rd chapter, man. All right. Okay. Psalms 83 and 2. It says, For lo, thine enemies make a tumult, and they that hate thee have lifted up their head. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones, man. Yeah, they took crafty counsel, man. So so that sounds like a um, conspiracy to me, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? When people uh, come together, all right, to come up and form a, a white supremacy, they come to form uh, Willie Lynch. You know what I'm saying? They come to form uh, uh, Jim Crow. All right. You know, they come to form the so-called Constitution. All right. You know, which was for their ass, not for you. All right. You Negroes, Latino, Native Americans wasn't for you. All right. It wasn't even for you damn poor crackers, man, at the end of the day. For the damn rich ass fucking crackers, man. The one percent is at the end of the day, man. All right. You know. OK. But nonetheless, uh, finishing up, let's find out who the enemies are, even though we know. All right. But let's find out for those who don't. 
Okay, because Jake want to be friends with every goddamn body, man. All right. They want to find good in everybody, man. <laughs> you know, and, and that's only a simple person that had that type of mentality and mindset, man. See why Jake's still at the freaking damn bottom. Because you ain't got a ruling class mentality, man. Jake want to save everybody, but nobody. But these other heathen nations don't want to save your ass, man. All right. These heathen nations, they'll put businesses in your neighborhood. You know, Elon, funky ass, red dot Indians. You know, Moab, they slanted ass eyes, man. They retarded ass babies. Okay. All right. You know what I'm saying? You know, hey, man, all of them will put businesses all up in your damn neighborhood, man. But none of them want to live, live in your fucking neighborhood, man. They ain't want to live by you, man. They have a disdain towards you, man. All right. You know, their mentality, hey, come and buy and get out, man. They don't want you to herb and buy. Get the fuck out of their damn store, man. All right, get the fuck out of the establishment, man. They dusty ass establishments, man. All right, they, they, they yeah, y'all, they ass going to slavery too, man. Along with Esau, yeah, we talk about Esau righteously, so all right, you know what I'm saying, you know. But because uh, uh, Esau is the primary number one enemy of Israel, but you know the heathen nations, man. Right, brother, we about to read, man. Hey, y'all gonna get y'all just do as well too, man. All right, we gonna put hands and feet on y'all asses too, man. All right, you know it just, it just, it just that Esau gonna get it worse than y'all. That's all. Esau gonna have way more bigger lumps and blood clocks on his damn head and shit. You know what I'm saying? Than y'all do, man. All right, you know that's all. But uh, finishing up, uh, verse uh three, it says they have taken crafty counsel against thy people. And consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. That's why, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Start with the elders apostle, great millstone to the elder bishops on down to us. And you, you know, you have other Israelite camps as well, too. All right. That, you know what I'm saying? That, you know, that uh, follow the spirit of Yahweh Shema with Shah. All right. You know what I'm saying? You know, that's why when it says, you know, what I'm saying that um, that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. That's why we had a 12 tribe chart, man. All right. That's why we have, uh, you know, what I'm saying that's why in the scripture is talking about the lost, uh, the lost tribe of Israel, the lost sheep of Israel. Excuse me. The lost sheep of Israel at the end of the day, the loss of what the loss of their nationality and who they are. Pursuing back to Jeremiah uh, 17 and four, where we shall discontinue from dying heritage, man. That, and that fully happened over here. And slavery, you know what I'm saying? Where you saw uh, put brand name and put those uh, carpet, uh, put those uh, ba Babylonian carpet names on us or whatnot. Okay, but now the truth, is, you know what I'm saying? Truth is being revealed on these damn devils, man. Israel returning back, you know what I'm saying? You know, and crying out to Yahweh Shema was shy out there prophesying, out there warning, man. All right, the men out there on them highways and byways talking to the elders, apostles, elder bishops on down to us, man. All right, you know, okay, and before our elders apostles, they're elders, man. All right, so we're continuing on the legacy, starting with Elder Alva Bivens, going all the way back from the 60s, the high priest Arya, you know what I'm saying, uh, King Masha, you know what I'm saying, you know, uh, uh, high priest Yaikwab, and those are elders apostles, just name a few, those are elders apostles, elders at the end of the day, a lot of them done passed and then went back into the spiritual realm, and, and, and it's truth. You know what I'm saying? The truth, you know what I'm saying? They are the fruit of their, I mean, that, um, they're, they are the fruit of their elders apostles and we are the fruit of our, el our elders apostles, man. So the work continuing on, man. All right. You know, the fruit is of the elect is steady being gathered by Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. That was making Esau so freaking goddamn afraid, man. All right. That's why, you know what I'm saying? Esau knew this had to happen. That's why he, you know, he, he tried to destroy us as a people and still trying to destroy us as a people, man. And then, like I say, Revelation 12 and 12, the Jacob trouble, he's going to really try to come, but Yahweh Shema going to make that stand. He's going to really try to destroy, you know what I'm saying, the elect of Yahweh Shema Shah, but this devil ain't going to be able to do that. I'm going to make a standard on his punk ass, man. Okay? But it's Psalms 83 verses, uh, verses 5. It says, for they have consulted, cons consulted together with one consent, they are confederate against thee. The tabernacles of Edom. All right. They start off with Edom punk ass, man. You so-called white people, man. Start off with you. And the, and the Ishmaelites, you damn funky, dirty sand niggas, you Arabs. OK. All right. And it says of Moab and uh, uh, Hagarines, man. All right. You you got them. All right. And it says of Moab. Talking about you got them fucking uh, Chinese, man. OK. All right. And it's in the Hagarines, man. You. Fucking ha funky ass hammites, man. All right, you know, but 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 the uh, oh, matter of fact, let me verse seven and Gabal and Ammon, you fucking Japanese, you slant, you gooks, okay, and Amalek, all right. Oh, there you go, Amalek, the head tribe of Edom, man. And y'all by your shot name, you devils twice on here, man. Okay, all right, these are enemies, man. Okay, all right, the the they the, the, the took up a tow moat, man. Try to destroy us as a nation of damn people, man. So those these are curses Yahweh Shemashah gonna put on, man. These funky ass heathens, man. 
Okay, all right. It says the Philistines with the inhabitants of Tyre. Yeah, you, you real doodle eating damn Africans, man. All right, that's what that, that's who it's talking about. You real, real live Africans who you stupid niggas want to be. All right, but them real ham mice, man. They know who the hell your ass is, man. All right, you know, they laugh at y'all simple ass, man, for being ignorant. You know what I'm saying? Of who you are, they 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 know you're not their people, man. All right, you know it just you stupid niggas don't know. Okay, and you got and y'all about shit. I got the prophets out there. Some the elders apostles, the elder bishop down. Us giving you warning, but Jake, like I say, man, Jake just sad as children like the scriptures say, man. All right, but this is the last scripture right here. It's right here, Zephaniah. Uh, I'm gonna get Zephaniah three, and we okay. We're gonna read verse thirteen. We get Zephaniah three. We we'll read verse thirteen to seventeen, man. Now, I mean, the true children of Israel be placed back in the land of Israel. You know what I'm saying? You, you ain't gonna have no acts like this right here. That, that, that show you, you ain't, these ain't the real freaking damn people, man. You ain't the real people, man. Or y'all about your mouth, Rashad, man. You, you, you imposters, man. At the end of the day or whatnot, man. Okay, you imposters, man. All right, you know. But Shalot, let me get back. Uh, I ain't never finished, man. Let me Shalot. Spirit brought it back to me. I ain't never finished Revelation two and nine, bro. How about that, Rashad? Most I brought that back to me. All right, so most I wanted that to come out. <laughs> spirit, spirit wanted that to come out. Brought it back to me. But Revelation 2 and 9, all right, made so many points. All right, but let's get back. It says, I know thy works in tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich, man. All right, you know, and we know why we rich, man, because Yahweh Shemar Shah is the power of Israel, man. The kingdom is only for Israel, man. All right, and it says, and I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not. Yeah, yeah, these gutter rats, man. Okay, but this, this scripture right here, Revelation 2 and 9. That's why I went to it, all right? You know what I'm saying? Because it's twofold. Revelation 2 and 9, twofold, all right? You know what I'm saying? Because Yahweh Shah was talking about these wicked-ass fucking Israelites out here, all right? These wicked-ass Jews, all right? You know what I'm saying? It's supposed to be Jews or whatnot, but they were acting like fucking heathens, okay? All right, they was oppressing Jake, all right? You know what I'm saying? You know, these are the same wicked-ass fucking niggas, man, all right? They say they want Caesar to be their king, man. Same wicked-ass niggas that, you know what I'm saying, that hated Yahweh Shah. And ultimately sold Yahweh Shah to the to the Romans. You know what I'm saying? Why? Because they ain't want the Romans to remove them out of their seats, man, at the end of the day. All right. So that's what the scripture talk about. You're talking about these wicked ass fucking black wicked niggas. And it's twofold. And it's also and today. All right. It's talking about who? All right. Them, them, them gutter rats. Who's in the land today? Who call itself? You know what I'm saying? Uh, Israel or uh, Jewish. OK. Who say they're the people of God today? All right. Which they're not. They're Edom, they're Amalek, okay? You know what I'm saying? Amalek over there, okay? So it's twofold, all right? And finishing up, it says, And I know the blasphemy of them which say they are Jews and are not, but are the synagogue of Satan, man. All right, you know? Yeah, they the devil himself, man, <laughs> all right? And, and, and the deceiver, all right? Putting up his image as he the Lord, you know what I'm saying? And, and that's why, like I said, man, you know, Yahweh Shah, I mean, Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah was a perfect sacrifice, man. You devils, man, you little leopards, fucking dogs, man. Got a damn skin disease, man. All right, you know, you, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, man, you know what I'm saying? You, you fucking bastards, man. You you know what I'm saying? You're not, you're not even normal, man. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, man, your skin alone, man. All right, translucent because your blood show forth, you know, through your skin, man. All right, you you have no, you have no uh, melon at the end of the day. All nations have melon stuff for you damn Edomites, man, to prove that you you got that uh, mark of Cain at the end of the day. You the wicked, man. You the seed of the freaking wicked, man. But let's read Revelation 3 and 9, man. That's why you do acts like that, man. All right? You, you, you know, we, like I say, man, you know how you be doing your circumcision with little baby boys and shit, man. We know how you do your circumcision with boys, man. You got them rabbis and you, your rabbis and shit, man. You know? All right? How y'all how perform? Rather, I should say that how y'all perform the circumcision, man. All right? You, you bastards, man. You so fucking wicked, man. All right. But anyway, Revelation three and nine. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not. Hey, once again, you how about shot doubling down once again, but do lie. All right. This and this right here. Talking about you damn small hats right here, man. All right. Talking about you small hats right here. All right. Because when you finish the verse, 
All right, that's how you know it. This right here ain't twofold. Talking about you small hats right here. All right, you know, it's, but it says, Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet and to know that I have loved thee. First of all, when Israel, when, when even two thirds, when they come back in the kingdom through the loins of the let, all Israel going to be righteous, man. So, you know what I'm saying? All Israel going to be righteous, man, at the end of the day. Okay, all right. The, 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 the only need we're going to bow down to Israel is Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, bro. <laughs> that's the only power we bow down to, Yahweh Bashim Al Shah. So, you know, verse 9. When talking about Israel, all right, but in Revelation three and nine, when it, it wasn't a twofold, I'm talking about you damn small hat specifically. You read Revelation two and nine, Revelation two and nine, that's twofold, all right. And if earlier if I misspoke, shalak for that, but correcting it right now if I misspoke, okay, all right, on making that specific point, okay. But Revelation three and nine, this red letter Yahweh shy. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet and to know that I have loved thee. Yes, slavery, captivity, man. All right. That's what you damn heathens are going right on your head. Starting with starting with you, Amalek. OK, but let me get back to Zephaniah. All right. And this is the last scripture right here. And like I said, man, I'm glad I ain't said it's going to be a, a quick listen because <laughs> already 30 minutes. But like I said, man, this is your How About Shemal Shah show, man. You know, spirit be on you, man. The spirit going to be on you to, to, to jump off, man. All right. You know what I'm saying? This is your How About Shemal Shah show at the end of the day. All right, you know, most high, you gonna stop when you how about your mouth? I want you to stop at the end of the day. <laughs> All right, you know, uh, this is Zephaniah three, and I'm gonna start at verse. Uh, I'll start at verse thirteen, man. All right, you know, so we know this ain't talking about you fucking small hats. It ain't talking about you vocab Malone. All right, and your kind and your people. All right, Amalek, you Edomite. Okay. All right, uh, Zephaniah three and thirteen, the remnant of Israel. Shall not do inequity, nor speak lies, neither shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth. Oh, so we know y'all. Come on, man. Y'all been over there. Wait. Baphomet. All right. 1948. OK. All right. And here it is, man. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, man, I ain't got to say anything, man. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no wickedness going to be in Israel when the true children of Israel return through the power. You how about your mouth? Look, look what's going on, man. The rainbow, man. Y'all done turn a rainbow. Y'all done. Y'all done savagely. Done, 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 done. Took the god dog on rainbow, which supposed to be righteous. All right, well, Yahweh Shemal Shah made a covenant with uh, Noah that he would no longer destroy the whole earth with water, man. So y'all took something righteous and made it wicked. But that's how we know you the devil. That's how we know you Edomites are, are, are the wicked, man. According to the scriptures, man. All right, damn crackers, man. All right, can't get out of that. All right, that way you know you devil know your time short. But but finishing up, man. Zephaniah um, three. All right. Verse uh, finishing up uh, verse uh, 13. It says, neither shall a deceitful tongue be found in their mouth for they shall feed and lie down and none shall make them afraid. Man, you know, that ain't happening today. All right. You know what I'm saying? The true children of Israel, you know what I'm saying? We still in captivity. We still in slavery. But you know what I'm saying? The scripture said when the true children of Israel be back in a land, it says for a day shall feed and lie down and none shall make them afraid. Man, you devil still be warm with the Palestinian Indians, man. You devils be warm with, with Syria. All right. Syria done sent ash strike over there to you devils, man. All right. That's why you want to get America to back you with everything. And you want to eventually you're going to lead them to World War Three. All right. That, that's coming. All right. But it says for they shall feed and lie down and none shall make them afraid. You devil's fucking afraid, man. You got to come up with all these goddamn laws and shit or whatnot. You know what I'm saying? To protect yourselves and all these damn sanctions and shit. All right. Because you fucking afraid, man. You see you losing your grip, man. At the end of the goddamn day. And now you can do about it, man. All right. You losing power every damn day, man. All right. So we know you're not the people, man. All right. Uh, uh, the Bible. OK. All right. Uh, uh, yeah. How about you? Was shot. OK. Truth in Israel. Get back in the land of Israel. Ain't gonna be no fucking war. Ain't gonna be no study of wars no more, man. Okay? All right? Israel gonna be afraid. Because Israel gonna have... Like I said, we're gonna be super terrestrials, man. All right? We're gonna be gods, man. All right? We gods now. Lowercase g's, man. We, we gods. We gods now, man. All right? You know what I'm saying? On a low level. Okay? All right? But when we... When Yahweh Shemash bring us back to our first estate, man. All right? He put... He, he, you know, he, he bring us back to our youth. Man, I tell you, boy... You know what I'm saying? Who the hell gonna, gonna you know what I'm saying? Who the hell gonna fuck with Israel? No damn body, man. Cause we gonna have y'all by your shot with it. He gonna be our power. We we ain't going off no more. Nobody gonna be able to fuck with us. When you read the scriptures and you go back, you know, and, and you know what I'm saying, you read it, going back to King David, go back in Judges, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, with with, with, with Caleb, you know what I'm saying, with Joshua, you know what I'm saying, with, you know what I'm saying, just name a few. You know, when they went to war. You know what I'm saying? They pray to Yahweh Shema with Shai. And they seek the Lord and they ask wisdom. Is this wise for us? Lord, is you going to be with us when we go to war? All right. You know what I'm saying? You know? And when Yahweh Shema with Shai was with them, guess what, man? We always won, man. 
You know, you had men of the Lord, man, they didn't even get a fucking scratch on them, man. <laughs> All right. You know, they had a scratch on them, bro. All right. When Yahweh Shema Shah, you know what I'm saying? When we are one with Yahweh Shema Shah, which in that day and that time, you know what I'm saying, is coming. When, when, when we return back to Israel, through the power of Yahweh Shema Shah, once he delivered the elect, you know what I'm saying, from that second death, the nuclear missile that fired from Babylon. All right. And all Israel are gathered throughout the four corners. Then guess what, man? You know what I'm saying? Before we place back, when I say place back, let me, let me also explain this right here. You heathens going to build the land back up. All right. It ain't going to be built up overnight. You heathens going to build the land back up. All right. Israel ain't working no more, man. All right. Working now. Busting our ass now. You think we'll be working in the kingdom? Is Do the super elite working in the kingdom? Is, is super elite the Rothschild? Do you think they're going into a damn fucking plant? You know what I'm saying? And going and getting a goddamn time card and clocking in and shit. All right. I guess I'm doing double shift today. All right. They don't fucking work, man. They don't know what work is. Man. Them devils ain't worked for 500 years, man. All right. That's why they got a term called old money. OK. But they're going to be in for a rude awakening, man. All right, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna be in for a rude awakening, man. All right, your ass gonna work in the goddamn kingdom, man. You're gonna work with a whip on your damn back, man. All right, literally. Um, we're finishing up here. Um, Zephaniah 3 and 14. It says, Sing, O daughter of Zion, shout, O Israel, be glad and rejoice with all the heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. The Lord, Yahweh Shemal Shah, have taken away thy judgments. He have cast out thy enemy. The king of Israel, even the Lord, is in the midst of thee. Ooh. Ooh, it's even the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, is in the midst of thee, man. Hey, hey, do like Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah in the midst of these damn bastards right here, man. All right, you know, and what the fuck they doing, man? Hell fucking not, man. If Yahweh Shah was there, he'd be destroying all the ass, man. All right, man, Yahweh Shah make a big ass ball of fire and flame all the ass. All the ass would be fucking cold and shit for the fire, man, at the end of the day, man. All right, Yahweh Shah do all that with one hit, man. Okay, all right. Yeah, damn perfect strike, man. With a, a big ass fireball, man. All right, you know, uh, Yahweh Shah could have opened up the damn ground and have all the bastards swallow up, man. All right, you know, let the ground swallow the ass up, man. All right, but yeah, but but like I say, man, you judgment coming to you, damn devils, man. Um, it, it coming to you, man. All right, coming to you right there around the corner, man. Believe that. All right, but uh, through the courtesy of Yahweh Shah, of course. All right, uh, this right here, reading again, starting back. Uh, verse 15, it says, uh, the Lord, Yahweh, have taken away thy judgments. He have cast out thy enemy. Right. You damn um, Esau, your ass going down, boy. All right. You saw the end of the world. Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. All right. Finishing up the king of Israel, even the Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh, is in the midst of thee. See, there you go. All right. See, dude, where, where Yahweh Shah at, man? Where King David at, man? Nowhere to be found because y'all ain't freaking people, man. Thou shall not see evil anymore. Why we shall not see evil anymore? We're going to be one with our true power. Y'all about Shemar Bashar. All right, we're going to be righteous, man. All right, the law is going to be in our inward part, man. Pursuing back to what? Jeremiah 31 and 31. Hebrews 8th chapter, man. All right, you know? Uh, 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 Zephaniah 3 and 16. In that day it shall be said to Jerusalem, Fear thou not, and to Zion, let not thine hands be slack. The Lord, Yahweh Bashim thy power is in the midst of thee, is mighty. He will save. He will rejoice over thee with joy. He will rest in his love. He will he will joy over thee with singing, man. See, so that right there, a straight cut, man, showing you the true children true, true, true of Israel is not back in the land of Israel today, man. All right, you know? So with that, because when true children of Israel, you know what I'm saying, is placed back in the land, of, uh, um, true children of Israel placed back in the land, in our holy land, Guess what, man? You know what I'm saying? You know, righteousness is going to go forth from Jerusalem, man. All right? Righteousness is going to go forth, man. All right? Because we're going to have a righteous kingdom at the end of the day. Esau has a wicked ass, fested ass, whack ass kingdom, man. All right? Israel going to have a righteous kingdom. We can't wait, man. We can't wait. Y'all about to try to destroy this fucking wicked ass cesspool, man. You call it a fucking kingdom at the end of the damn day. All right? But with that, that's the end of my listen. I pray and I hope that it was edifying to the body. Of the hopeful elect, and with that, I want to say shalom, 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 shalom.